Good day everyone. I am Mikey L. Martinez and I will be going to present one of the model of the game theory which is the non-cooperative game. So the topic outline of my report are non-cooperative game theory, non-cooperative games and solving technologies dominance criteria of non-cooperative game theory, example of non-cooperative games, and criticisms of non-cooperative game theory. The intended learning outcomes of my report are Learn and define non-cooperative game theory. Learn the solving technologies dominance criteria of non-cooperative game theory. And lastly, know the criticisms of non-cooperative game theory. So first, let us define what is non-cooperative game theory. So non-cooperative game theory is a model of game theory based on the assumption that individual players do what is profitable to them so the participants compete mainly because there is no external force contracts and the key distinguishing future is the absence of external authority to establish rules enforcing cooperative behavior so, in the absence of external authority, such as contract law, players cannot group into coalitions and must compete independently. Next is the non-cooperative games and solving technologies dominance criteria of non-cooperative game theory. So, in non-cooperative game theory, the assumption is each player thinks of the best payoff or most favorable outcome. So the strategy where a player gains the most favorable outcome irrespective of the other player's strategy is called a dominance theory. Dominance could be strict dominance or a weak dominance. Next is the example of non-cooperative games. So non-cooperative game theory deals with how rational economic agents deal with each other to achieve their own goals. The most common non-cooperative game is the strategic, strategic game in which only the available strategies and the outcomes that result from a combination of choices are listed. And a simplistic example of a real-world non-cooperative game is the rock, paper, scissors. So in, so in the game of a rock, paper, scissors, there is no cooperative option between the two players available. So, if player 1 play rock, it is the player 2's interest to play a paper. If a player 2 plays paper, it is in player 1's interest to play a scissors. If a player 1 play scissors, it is the player 2's interest to play a rock. So, the pref so the preference of the players in cyclical is cyclical and no cooperative outcome can be reached. So this falls the transitive preference property. Next is the criticisms of a non-cooperative game theory. So the game theories assumes knowledge is freely available. So the chances that a payoff matrix can be constructed is unrealistic assumption. Next, most economic and real-time scenarios involve multiple players with different intentions and various expectations. So summarizing them would be a challenge. 
So that would be the end of my presentation. So here are my references. And that would be all. Thank you.